So did you watch Conan's final show? Yeah. What did you think? Great show. Mm -hmm. Good performer and a good comic and a good guy. There's no, there's no animosity there. What did you feel about what he said in his goodbye, about every comedian's dream of uh, hosting the night show? <laughs> Same thing I felt. Now that you and your staff are going to be back at the night show starting March 1st, mm -hmm. um, do you feel that it's, is it going to be humbling to go back? or? Yeah, I think we've got our work cut out for us. Mm -hmm. I think we have a lot of work to do. I think there's a lot of damage control that has to be done. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the only way you can fix these things is to try and do good shows, uh, not be bitter, uh, not be angry or upset uh, about whatever and just try to do the best shows you can. That's really the only answer. You know, you're really good at making jokes about things, but were you embarrassed at all about how this all transpired? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's hugely embarrassing. You know, uh, not that I'm glad my parents are gone. I don't mean it that way, but mm -hmm. I'm like the last one left, so I don't have to explain to the relatives how all this works. But in your personal moments, did you, you said your heart was broken, so yeah. how does that show itself with you? Do you go for a ride in one of your cars? Do you... you know, I always thought that you're doing the right thing. I always felt I was doing the right thing. And you go, how can you do the right thing and just have it go so wrong? Maybe I'm not doing the right thing. I would say, maybe I'm doing something wrong. This many people are angry and upset over a television show. I mean, I had a show, my show got canceled. They weren't happy with the other guy's show. They said, we want you to go back. I said, okay. And this seemed to make a lot of people really upset. And I go, well, who wouldn't take that job, though? Who wouldn't do that? And it was really agonizing. And I would spend a lot of time just thinking about it, going, I think I'm a good guy. Am I not a good guy? Am I, maybe I'm just one of these guys who thinks I see everything with rose-colored glasses and the world has fallen up around you. Yeah, it was a real agonizing Did time. you ever ask yourself, well, am I being selfish? Sure. Yeah, you ask yourself that every day. And your answer was? Is? I don't think so. Um, I don't think so. I mean, I like the job. I like all that goes with it. I fight for the people that work here. I fight to keep the jobs here. Um, Okay, is that selfish? Maybe it is because it's self-aggrandizing. Maybe it's because it's pumping me up. Do you think celebrities will come on your show or refuse oh, to come I, on your show? No, I think they will. Mm -hmm. I, I think they will. I, I don't know why they would refuse based on what? What would the reason you would refuse? that? Because uh, they're taking sides. Well, I guess so. I mean, if a, if a star is up for a movie and they don't get it and another star gets I mean do you not like that person uh, I don't know you think you can be number one again I don't know I mean you, you work hard and you try uh, and it's it's sort of a marathon and you do the best you can how has experience changed you um, how has it changed me well as I said it makes you look a little more inward as to what I look at other people, other celebrities that have had problems, and it, you kind of understand what they go through, and you go, oh, I see what it's like to be on the other side. Hmm. You know, you, you begin to understand. Well, how, how has it affected you? Has it affected your opinion of me? Um, this is what I think. I think one of the reasons why I wanted to do the interview is because uh, I'm really surprised that so many people are against you because I think that people don't understand the way television works. Right. And I think that, honestly, if people, I could understand people thinking you were selfish if you owned the show and controlled the show. Right. It's um, a little surprising to me that people think that you stole the show when, in fact, it wasn't your show to steal. Right. It's owned by NBC. You know, it's the reason I never wanted to own the show. Mm hmm it's the same reason I don't ever well, want to own. Well, the show's pretty good, too, I have to say. It is good. But you know something? <laughs> I don't have a it's problem It's the same with reason it. I don't want to own rental property. Really? I don't want to be a landlord. You don't? I like to come to work. Mm -hmm. I like to be, I love being a highly paid employee.